Yo boy Alex from North Carolina. You're watching the Oh My Gosh. Hey, what's up, OMG fam? So, hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to our life movie. Today, we're going to my friend Patty's house. Before we do that, though, we're gonna go to the post office, get some more mail. Yes, I know, behind on fan mail. But yeah, I'm gonna do a giant like live episode. Uh, we should do it tonight. Do it tonight. Do it time we get home from Patty's. Okay, yeah, it depends. Um, if you didn't know, if you've been like missing out on you know some of my videos, my really good friend Patty, which I consider almost like like family to me. Uh, she is family. She's not almost family. She is family to me. She lost her fiance, and it was the day that we went to Playlist Live. Feel really horrible because she was excited. It was her first playlist live, and the little time she was there, like people were noticing her and saying that they loved their her videos. And she wasn't able to really even attend it, considering how much money she put in. What's the matter? I didn't know. Freaking! I didn't know he was turning in. Trying to... Okay, we're trying to turn into the post office. Like a lot of people doing. Thank you guys that have been there for Patty and providing her support, love as well as donating financially for Mike's funeral. So, thank you. This is our post office. It's really small. That's why they call me when they get mail because they don't have a lot of room in there. I kind of feel bad. See that mail behind me? That is Patty's mail and Marie's mail from G-Team. So we're gonna give that to them. Their box is only like a couple of boxes over from ours and they know that we know each other. Plus, Patty said that it was cool. Uh, I'm not gonna name any names, but I guess they sent me a letter and I only spent maybe about 10 to 20 seconds reading the letter and they really got upset about that. Well, first I wanna apologize to that person and I'm sorry you feel upset. I'm very grateful when people take the time to do something for us or to write us some mail, write us a letter. But when you reach a point that a lot of people know who you are, it's extremely difficult. In fact, it's almost impossible to be able to make everyone happy. And I think that's one thing that is one of the letdowns of being a YouTuber, being even like a, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't even consider myself a big YouTuber, but when I only had maybe 30 or 40,000 subscribers on this channel and I would only get maybe three or four pieces of mail, I was able to spend more time maybe reading some of that mail. And when you have like a hundred letters to read and some of them are seven pages long, you can't. The live stream, they last like yeah, the, hours. The live streams are way too long. On the last few of my fan mail live streams, we had a lot of mail and just to be able to get through all of that mail Fairly, I mean, we had to kind of go through some of these letters quickly. I, mean, I just don't want to make it where we end up not doing the live. That it's that day is probably coming. Honestly, I mean, we're getting bombarded with mail, and that's not a bad thing. But I don't think we're going to be able to do fan mail episodes because they're going to be like four or five hours long. I mean, let me ask you this: other big YouTubers that you know, I mean, I know some of them probably will pick out a few things and open them up. But I guarantee you that they're not reading or opening every one of their fans' mails. It's impossible to. It's the same thing with emails and messages we get. I can't respond to them all. I'm only one person. I have a seven day a week job. Sometimes I put 12 to 14 hours in a day doing like filming and, and editing. I mean, I have a tough, pretty tough job. Then I gotta be a dad to my children, be a husband to my wife and take care of a bunch of animals that little bit of time that I have to like work on mail and I'm sorry I'm really sorry that I, I can't read your letters fully and I just want to apologize for that don't take it offensive it's just you just you just can't you can't please everybody it's it's impossible so you know whoever that is if you're watching this sorry I think eventually we're gonna just have to hand pick like you know okay we're gonna pick this box and that's kind of what Casey Neistat does They'll just pick two or three boxes. I mean, a video can get pretty boring really quick if that's all you're doing. I mean, that's why I end up doing them live. And they last like an hour. I think the last one was two hours. Two hour live stream. I think it was longer than that. Was it? Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a lot of 
it's a lot of time. So, yeah, don't take it offensive, man. I still love you guys. You, know, you, you don't have to send us mail. I mean, it's uh, it's very much appreciated. I had somebody send me a, I think it was like a 10-page letter. And guess what? I did read it. I read that 10-page letter. It took me about 45 minutes to read it. A lot of people do that, and I just, who has the time? Who has the time to, to go through all that and, and do what we're doing, you know, so. Patty's granddaughter, she has a MacBook, and her dog chewed up the wires. She, it's pretty bad. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, somebody tried to repair it using duct tape. Not gonna work. I went out and bought some, you know, some wire. I'm gonna try to repair it for her. Last night I lent her my MacBook charger. Yeah, this is what a MacBook charger should look like without a dog chewing it up. Now, I know you're thinking like, hey man, you could buy a new one. They're like $80, they're really expensive. So it's either spend a couple dollars at the hardware store or $80 on a brand new one. I mean, we could get a brand new one later on. I'm sure there's some bootleg ones you could buy on Amazon. That's Patty's sister. How are you feeling? Me? Yeah. That's she, she was sick. She was sick. Oh, she's doing better. She had a stomach flu. She was throwing up all over the place. So I'm going to put this together and we're going to test out if it works. As you can see from this, you can see that it does not work. Okay. I'll try it on my, my laptop. I brought my laptop right there. So here is the finished product. I know it's not pretty, but I have a longer wire now for Kylie and it's still better. Let's give it a shot, see if it works. Alrighty, hopefully we don't get electrocuted. Moment of truth. Oh, it works! Yeah, yeah, it's charging, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing blew up. Nothing caught on fire. It works! It works here. Here, let's plug it in. Let's see if it works on your computer. It looks like Mother Teresa over there. Hi, Mother Teresa. Thank you. It works! And it's longer. You got a longer cord now, too. Oh, oh crap. I'll be back. Saved you 80 bucks, man. You got a little snack. I see your snack. All right, remember we were here yesterday, right? And we cleaned the pool out. This is what it looks like today. Yeah. Did you lay me an egg? You could change their water out maybe like every two days. That's the max. Sometimes good to do every day. But it's really not that. It's dirty, but it's not super dirty. They're fine with that. Uh, ducks, they, they like dirty water. Okay, I want to see what this is. Patty's curious. She wants to open at least one here. Yeah. Did you order something? No. I don't think I did. It's batteries. Looks like what? I think. Tatters? <laughs> Somebody sent me a bunch of batteries. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Look at all the batteries. Those are good batteries. Too. Are they? Wow, that's awesome. Who's that from? I don't know. Let me look and see. Can't go wrong with batteries. That's so sweet. Thank you. Whoever sent those. There's not a note in there? No, it's not. No. Sometimes Amazon does a note. This could be connected to another package, too. Oh, you know what? It might be. Um, a gift for you. Hey, G Team, I didn't have enough room in my Chewy box Never for this. Oh, it's Heather. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's something, something in here from. Aww. Okay, whatever the batteries are for, for whatever Aww, in here. Heather, you're such a sweetheart. You really are. Wow. That is so sweet. And Heather Shelby, she's the one that sent us these bracelets. That was she's super sweet. Yeah, she's the one that sent us these. Thank you, Heather. You might need to get yes, some more. Yes, definitely. Light. Thank you, Heather. I was just curious. I don't know. It's been, something's been telling me to open that for some reason. You guys are so cute. What are you doing? Hi, Mingy. No, get out. They're sitting inside of a bowl right now. How cute is that? 
And you, what are you doing? That's Black Bear right there. Hi, Black Bear. These guys are starting to eat on their own now, which means they are ready for a new home. I have a new friend today. Her name is Zitanya. There she is right there. Say nice to meet you, Zitanya. Yeah, get it? Zit on ya. What's up, Max? What's up? I got a bunch of Tanyas. Tanyas? Yeah. You got some Tanya girlfriends? No, a bunch of. Oh, Zitanyas. Zitanya. Like, you only got like one or two. I got like 50 Zitanyas. It's pretty normal for teenagers. I have Zitanyas. I had more than you when I was your age. I think all of them have a home now, right? Mm -hmm. All of them have. Okay, so if you were wanting a kitty, Tell me, I had a couple people message me and I was like, email me, email me. I, ne I ne never got your email back. So we already found homes for all the kitties. Two of them are going to people that like we know, actually three of them, three, three of them are going to. And then two of them are going to some of our fans, people that watch our videos, which is also really awesome. I mean, it's people that we know. Rebecca and Courtney, right? Yeah. I won't say their last names just in case they don't want me to. But maybe we'll meet them today. We're going to be meeting up with them, right? Yeah, 7. 7 o'clock. We're going to be meeting up with them. Good boy. That's such a good boy. See, they're ready, man. Ready to go. Well, they're seven weeks old. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm sorry. Well, these are the two that are going to a new home. That's a little girl. And that's a little boy. I know. I'm so sorry. Let's say bye to mama. It's like, nah. These are our fams, Courtney and Robert, and they are taking one of our kitties. Which one are you taking? The male, sure. right? Yeah. Man. The, the male? Okay, I know which one you're taking. <laughs> he's my favorite. And he's an escape artist. Oh, they fell asleep. There he is right there. Want to take a peek? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got okay, some food for you. It's getting a little older, so we have for 10 years. So, the little one, she loves cats. Just one more kiss. One more kiss. I told them too, like if they have any problems and they can't keep the kitty, we'll gladly take them back. I think they'll they'll be okay. Has a, another kitty and they keep them indoors. It's gonna be an indoor cat. Just love. You just watch them love. Oh, look at that. She nodded her head yes, like three times. That is so funny. I've never seen a cat like respond to a question. They're so lovable. They are. Editing a video here, if you're wondering why I have earphones on. I think it had a big impact on these kittens. I mean, from the time they were born, we were always holding them and giving them love. And their the kids' friends always the came kids over. Are, yeah, that's right. Them. So look at them. I mean, they're so used to being around us people. And they, they're like so domesticated and friendly. I mean, like when I found their mom, I found her outside. She was a wild cat. And we took her in. That's a really good story. Let me know in the comments. That's how I know how long you've been watching my videos. And if you don't know, you have to go back a little bit. It was during a time where I lost a family member. And you have to go watch that video. It's the whole story on how I got Minge and why her name is Minge. This is our fam Christian. Got a, got a bracelet there. I'm sorry, like if you guys are waiting for a bracelet, there's some on the way, I promise. But we're out. We're out of bracelets now. I only have... Just this one left. Huh? This one's gone? Okay. Melissa gave this one away, I guess. So I have I have none. She's like knocked out. It's like, I don't want to go home. There they go. They just got little baby girl. They seem really happy. Thank you, Courtney, for this awesome picture. <laughs> She's probably going to think that's Minge, her mom. <laughs> But milk's not gonna come out. No, nothing's gonna come out. <laughs> Look who got a new kitty cat. What are you gonna name her? Check out how beautiful this came out. Heather did this all on her own. And they're gonna have this at his memorial on Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure if like some of you guys are local and you wanna come and show your support for our buddy Mike. Hi, baby. 
He's so pretty. No, you can't bite my camera. Okay, she's trying to bite you guys. She don't like you. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't like the fam? Give me a kiss. All right, Jupiter's getting jealous. We got to go give Jupiter some kisses. She actually really does give kisses. Watch this. See that? She doesn't bite. She just gives a kiss. Mm, good girl. I know what you're thinking, guys. I got a lot of mail. Yeah. I'm going to do something that I've never done before. Well, it's been a while. I'm going to open up three pieces of mail. Just randomly, okay? I was going to open this. This is from my fam, Tracy Rose. And it's uh, broken. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Oh, man, it looks like something really beautiful. Oh, how pretty. This is so beautiful. This definitely deserves to be in a frame. Omar, Melissa, and fam. Well, I'm finally going to be mailing this out after many days of trying. I'm so sorry I haven't opened this till now. I have also enclosed some haunted places in Ohio since you've mentioned that you are going to start going to different states this summer for sure. If I find more, which I probably will, I will either email them to you or send the links to Melissa. Anywho, I just wanted to say that you are my favorite YouTuber. I can spend all day watching your videos. When I'm not having a good day, all I have to do is watch one of your videos and I get in a better mood. Oh, thanks. You can always make me laugh. I even got my oldest daughter watching your channel. Before I got her addicted to watching your videos, I would always say, give me a kiss to her and she would ask me why I always said that. So I told her all about you and the fam and I showed her one of your videos. She was hooked, LOL. I wanted to tell Melissa that she did an awesome job on her first Melissa Monday video. I really enjoyed it and can't wait for your next Melissa Monday. I was thinking about maybe one day when I can get a chance and money to come down to Florida to visit my family in Spring Hill that maybe we can meet each other. Spring Hill is not too far from us. <clears throat> I would love to have a chance to meet you, Melissa, and the kids. Basically, the whole crew. And you all seem like pretty cool, down-to-earth, laid-back, goofy, and silly people. 100% my kind of people. Mine too. Even though we have never met, you guys are and will be a part of my fam. Don't ever stop being you. You guys are the best. Fam forever. Tracy Rose Hashtag give me kiss hashtag fam love, but check this out man. She printed out some really cool places I'm gonna take a peek at this. I am gonna be doing some road trips To the Northeast area. There's another package here This one just came today and I'm gonna open it because it says Star Wars and I love Star Wars If you didn't know and this is from Bill and Linda from Johnston, Pennsylvania. Hamburger helper box. Curious what's in here. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Look, this is so pretty. I'm not sure if they made these. Omar, hey, hope all is well. No, this is not a box of hamburger helper. It is the only box I had. <laughs> My wife and I are hardcore crafters and we made these sun catchers. There is a set for your family and a set for Patty. Oh, okay, there's a set for Patty. I have been watching her stuff as well as yours and simply hang them in a window where the sun comes in. Okay, so these are these are sun catchers. That's what they are. I've never heard of a sun catcher. Okay. Have a flashy one here. This is from Cricket D. Boyd, St. John, Indiana. To Omar and family, God bless you. Oh, they wrote their own book. That's a picture of them right there. 
Dear Omar, Melissa, and family, thank you so much for sharing your sweet family with all of us. Y'all are such a blessing to all. Your videos have made me laugh, and your birthday video made me cry. Aww. I love y'all so much, and I look forward to each video that comes out daily. Give me a kiss. I'm sending you a copy of my book that my husband and I wrote together. Oh, that's so sweet. They wrote this book together. It tells about the joy and the challenges that come with being a quadriplegic wow dealing with traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injury please check out my website boydministry.com you guys can check their website out too if you want to know more um, a lot of times we don't realize that there's a lot of people out there that have a story and sometimes that story can help people with certain challenges that they're facing I'm thinking that they went through something pretty traumatic and overcame it. Okay, the picture right here is their grandbaby's hands. That's so so cute. My sister's keeper by Cricket Boy. Thank you so much for this beautiful letter and this beautiful book. I can't wait to read it and know their story. Pretty sure it's going to be very powerful. We're going to be doing some fan mail pretty soon and we have we have quite a bit. I really feel bad that I've let it accumulate but I just dealing with sickness and going out of town and stuff like that I just I'm sorry I have to let these dogs outside right now they gotta go potty. Let's go baby. Let's go baby. <laughs> Luna just loves chewing on sticks. Yeah. We want to play fetch. At night time, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Hey, Missy, give me, give me. Okay, come on. come on. I need it though. I need it so I can play fetch with you. <laughs> come on. Give me that. Uh, I need it. Go get. Uh, I think it got lost. Where'd it go? It's like I found another one. It's cool. I didn't do really a whole lot of filming at Patty's house. I mean, they're, they're really not doing that great. I've been trying to go over there every single day to comfort them. I'm going to hang out with the kids tomorrow. Please keep Logan and Brock in your prayers. Uh, also Kylie. Mike was there as a dad for them. I don't know if you know the story, but they lost their biological dad. And they were real close with him. They lost him in 2015. And Patty took over. You know the mothering and the parenting and Mike stepped in as a father to them I mean Mike did everything with them he would take them to school he would pick them up anytime Patty would go out filming with me you know who was always at home watching the kids it was Mike Logan came back home today and I was giving him a big hug and he like just broke down so I'm gonna be picking him up from school tomorrow and I guess he was talking about like not going to school and it wasn't because like he doesn't want to go to school but when he started thinking of like going to school in the morning he automatically remembers his grandpa waking him up in the morning and when he said that like he started breaking down and crying and it's really sad man please please pray for them think about them these kids I mean they've been through so much by just losing their dad at a young age but it's like they lost a second dad it's like they're dealing with this all over again so, I mean, I, I can't take the place of being their, their dad, but I'm going to be there for them, you know, as much as I can be. When kids like that have lost somebody so close, they need a lot of attention. They need a lot of love. And they need to know that people are there, you know, for them, giving them support. Um, please let me know if I'm uploading too much, too. If you follow my other channel that has a, a lot more subscribers, if you noticed... I haven't really been uploading there. I mean, maybe once a week. I usually upload every two or three days there. But I've been uploading a lot more here every day. And um, I don't know. Some of you guys love it. I'm not sure if maybe some of you guys get annoyed with it. Uh, especially if you have notifications on. But please let me know. Hey, Omar, you're uploading way too much videos. And they're getting boring. Because I don't want my videos to be boring to you. But um, this is real life, guys. You know, this is my real life. I know some vloggers out there they don't really 
show you the intimacies of their life and, and the deepness, but I feel like people need to know like the ups and the downs. I mean, there's a lot that you guys don't see, but most of what you see, about 85% is us. I mean, the other 15% is, you know, us going to the bathroom and eating and um, other things like that. What you see is what you get, not being fake or anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. I really don't even know how long this video is. It's probably just me jabbering and talking. And please let me know if that annoys you too. Just kidding. Don't. Don't be mean, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. I'm feeling a lot better, but I do need another 12 hours of sleep to be 100%. Then I can go back to my regular schedule of six hours a night. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. I've got some really fun videos planned the next uh, couple days. You guys have a good night. Love you. Give me a kiss. Peace.